hello hello my friends unfortunately the glasses are back today but such is life i think my eyeball is almost better almost it's not quite as red it's not quite as angry so it's healing it is which is all you know good things good things good morning praise the sun how are you thanks for coming out we'll have our first coffee cheers for the morning boop all the boops so yeah we're gonna continue our adventure as we do playing some more final fantasy evan last time my goodness it was a trip we got to see the leaning rocket of pisa we got to meet sid i don't think i've ever had a complete 180 reaction to a character quite like that like he seemed very charming in one instant and then you're like oh my gosh you're a train wreck in the next so <laughs> i'm very curious to see what they do with his character they uh definitely reinforce like this guy is a jerk um but he's a part of your party now so you're welcome <laughs> so um we got the little bronco we fought palmer actually i should like take a step back we fought palmer which was probably the, my favorite battle to date. Like, he kept showing us his butt. Uh, he was like going, nya, 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 and then he got hit by a truck. Like, where did that truck come from? It just was like magically there and just boop, he was, you know, thrown into the distance. He became a shooting star in outer space. So that was definitely entertaining. And then we got the little Bronco plane. And then we turned it into a boat. So we're just boating around in a plane, as you do with your flippy floppies. So I think that's probably a good summary of where we are in the game. We're looking for, oh, what was it called? Island of the Ancients, Temple of the Ancients, something of the sort. So we're gonna try to find it. That is our first quest of the day, our first order of business. We're exploring the world map. We're going to get lost. We're going to go where no one has ever gone before. <laughs> Palmer is so dumb. He was wildly entertaining. I had a good time fighting him. It was all right. It was all right. Yeah, there is just a... Uh, I, I find that the game has kind of been a roller coaster. We've had like super campy moments. And then we've had really serious, somber moments. And then we come back up again and we have more campy, ridiculous moments. So it's uh, it's been kind of fun. Like the game doesn't want to take itself too seriously, but then it wants to have, you know, these serious moments. So it's, it's kind of like a balancing act so far. So we definitely hit campy again last time. So I'm sure we're going to have a little bit more somber and sad at some point. So I think we had just landed on this island last time. There's our plane. There's a dot over here. I was trying to get to this dot. Um, people told us we needed to go south. So we came south. I can't get up here. I have a feeling um, what we need is up there. Temple of the Ancients. Oh boy, Praise is excited. Praise is excited about the Temple of the Ancients. Oh, we got back attacked by the roly polies already. They're out to get us. Oh no, I should be healing already. As you do. I feel like my mic is not close enough. Let me see if I can move it closer. One day, I might have a fancy arm, but today is not that day. Oh, we need to use a cure too. Let's help bear it out a little bit here. Praise, you've been playing Okami recently, right? I think that's what you had mentioned the other day. That's a fun one. I really enjoyed that game. I'm curious to hear your thoughts when you finally completed it, what you thought about it. I feel like for the most part, it's beautiful. The art style is really one of those timeless art styles. It's kind of like Yoshi's Island, right? It has such a style that it doesn't look old, you know what I mean? Like, it won't really age. It'll have that timeless aspect to it. And it's a lot of fun, too. There's some really charming characters. You get to play as a wolf, which is awesome. Sign me up. And I think it's really fun that, you know, you're bringing light back to the world 
through artistry. And I think that's pretty cool. I don't really have much bad to say about the game. Oh, I feel like we're almost there. We've gotta be getting close. Almost dead. Gotta be almost dead. And we need to cure. Cure, cure, cure. The main game you're doing now during the week is Walking Dead Telltale Game. Nice. I haven't played any of the Telltale games, but I feel like I've heard good things about them for the most part. At least maybe some of their earlier games. I don't know about the more current ones. Man, this guy is just... There we go. I'm like, you should be dead by now. Now you are dead. <laughs> Alright, we leveled up fire. Beautiful, beautiful. It's great so far. Sadly, you're only three chapters into episode one, and one of your faves is already dead. Oh no! Well, I guess don't get attached to your characters in that game. Bad things might happen. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like we can get over there. I wonder if we can drive our plane boat around. Can we make it that far or is there deep water in our way? I guess we'll find out. More of these dudes. It was a sudden death and you actually- oh you audibly gasped? Oh man! So it totally caught you off guard then. Was it one of those where, um, like, are there different paths in that story, or is that character just doomed, like, no matter what? Because I feel like that can make it harder, right? If your choices make that happen, and if you had played a different way, then the outcome would have been different. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. I attacked instead of healed. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. These roly polies are tougher than what they need to be. They have way too much HP. Like, they're bugs. I mean, granted, they're big bugs, but still. The story is great, it's just a slower game than you're used to playing. The kind of game that you wouldn't really enjoy that much by myself, but on stream, it is fun. Yeah, it's always kind of interesting, like, what games you choose to stream. And, like, what kind of works for everybody. Like, this is the longest game I have ever played on stream. I'll, mostly I would do more action-oriented games versus, like, a big RPG like this one. Um, just something that you could finish, you know, in a few sessions versus, like months because <laughs> I don't stream very often and I only stream for about two hours because that's all I can handle. Uh, so yeah, it's just taking me a really long time to work through this. But yeah, I'm not sure if I, I don't know, I'm, I'm debating if I want to tackle this big of a game on stream again or just kind of stick to the shorter games that you can easily work your way through. Can we drive over here? We might be able to. Let's chat choose decision so it's fun that way. Oh, you let chat choose. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're letting chat kind of be in control of their of the game's destiny, as it were. That's a fun way to do it. And it keeps everybody engaged and feel like they're a part of it. So that's a fun way to do it. It's been your current issue with Witcher 3. You've been doing it on the weekends for like four months now and you're so close to being done. Oh, I love that game. That's one of my favorites. But yeah, it's a beast of a game. 
And you know, with something like that, it's a decision of, you know, how much of, are you just gonna stick to the main story or are you gonna go and do side quests? You know, how much of a completion do you wanna try to do on stream? That's a big choice. Have you played The Witcher 3 before, or is this your first time playing it? I'm kind of curious. You've decided to go for the Platinum Trophy offline, so that's been your personal project. Strictly main story, and it's taken that long. Yeah, it's, it's a beefy game. Beefy, beefy, but so good. I love the music in that game. I listen to the soundtrack pretty frequently. I think I listened to it just, uh, I think it was last week actually. I was listening to it in the car. And one of the bands that helped to make the music, Percival, they make some really fun, like, screamy metal. I guess it's called folk metal is the genre. They sing all in Polish. I don't understand a lick of it, but it's just so satisfying to listen to. I don't normally get into like ragey, screamy type stuff, but for whatever reason, like the folk metal just does it for Ruby. me. Woo, hello. <laughs> ah, scaring me. Game master sneaking in, giving me a heart attack. <laughs> hello. How are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is it worth walking over here? Or should I just go get our airplane? I guess we should just go back to the plane. It doesn't look like there's anything worth walking to. We're just gonna have to get to the other side somehow, some way. And we're gonna fight a crap ton of roly polies in the process, I guess, because, you know, that's what you do. Howdy, howdy, howdy! You love some screamy, ragey tunes. I mean, sometimes that just hits the spot, doesn't it? I listen to all kinds of different music, though. I'm, I'm up for most genres of music. There's only a few things that I really don't have the, the palette for. Oh, you know what? I probably should have cured, but we're just gonna go for it. I want to see her pick up a roly-poly and smash it into the ground. No, just don't die first, girl. Your work schedule got shuffled, so you can watch the stream today. Well, it is good to have you. I hope your work schedule will, will work out okay. Sometimes it can be hard to have to shift your day around like that. Uh, oh no, we're almost out of the MPs. I didn't realize we were getting so low. How low can you go? That reminds me of a vague memory. So when I was a kid, um, there was a, like a roller skating rink um, that we would go to. They've since torn it down, as many of them unfortunately got torn down. But they used to do limbo on roller skates and you would try to like get down as low as you could to go under the limbo bar while on roller skates it was kind of crazy but it was a good time oh no i can't do anything right now oh uh, is it worth trying to use an ether you know what let's just keep fighting let's just fight and then i'll we'll lick our wounds when we're done this cloud's full power we should be fine it's retail so it happens often Oh man, well my heart goes out to you because we're getting into the worst re part of the retail season. Uh, the holiday season is almost here. Oh, we let Barrett down. Sorry, Barrett. Yeah, I always feel so bad for retail workers because people are just dicks. I don't know why. People can be so rude and so inconsiderate when they're out shopping. But let's hope the worst of those people are just ordering stuff online and not attacking innocent workers that are just trying to do their jobs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ether. Give my... Oops, I'm pressing the wrong buttons again. We need all the ethers. Okay. Let's 
Bring me to life. Wake me up and sad. Wake me up and sad. I really don't know the words to that song very well anymore. What happened to Evanescence? <laughs> they were like so big for a while and then they just kind of disappeared. I vaguely remember the music video to that one too. Oh, so vaguely. Hey, Puzzle Better is in the house. Hey, Puzzle. How are you? I feel like we need another coffee chair since we've had some more fronds come in. Boop! Pardon the slurps, by the way. Sweet, sweet caffeine nectar always hits the spot. Although I lie because I'm actually drinking decaf. <laughs> I've had to really limit uh, the amount of caffeine I drink because caffeine is not getting along with me so well anymore. So I, can, I have like one regular caffeinated drink, which is usually just a cup of coffee. And then that's it for the day. I probably shouldn't have it at all, but I've been kind of giving myself at least one regular cup of coffee. Yeah, I was having really bad heart palpitations a couple weeks ago, so I cut caffeine for like a week and that helped. Heart palpitations suck. They really do. Because then you start freaking out like, is this just my body being silly or is there something more serious going on? The joys of, uh, of being a living creature when these body parts start doing silly things. Start asking questions. And then you Google it, and you wish you didn't Google it, because then you're convinced you're probably going to die soon. And that doesn't help your heart. <laughs> doesn't help it at all. No! At least this earthquake isn't as devastating as, uh, like, Pokemon. Should we just keep fighting? Let's just keep fighting. Yes, they're annoying. Puzzle knows what I'm talking about. The human body is a complex maze. That is a good way to put it. All kinds of very intricate, intricate dances going on amongst the different parts. Caffeine keeps you sane. Oh, it's your puzzle mug. Yay. Gotta love a good coffee cup. December will be the worst weeks ever since you start opening at like seven or eight. Ugh, so the madness starts early. You know what? I'm not sure we can get our airplane over there, can we? Oops, wrong button. Nope. I don't think it's gonna let us get over there. I don't think we're allowed to go there yet. Let's see if we can get around the other side, but I think I saw some deep water. Can we get over there? Nope. Nope, okay. Well, I guess we're not going there. All I know is we're supposed to go south. Have we been to this one? I forget how to get off the plane. Where's the dot? What was this? Have we been here? I don't remember. Oh, this is new. We have found a mountain. Hello, sir. Tell us about your mountain. We've been fighting the Shinra for a long time at this battlefield. Even now, we're still settled in for a long war with them. If you aren't in a hurry, would you help us fight them? Listen, I don't want to push, but if you've got something else to do, why don't you finish that first? <laughs> well... I mean, we've of course have other things to do, but should we do this? That is the question. Game master, I'm overcomplicating it. I have a tendency to overcomplicate things. <laughs> sure, I guess we'll help you out. Really? Then go on up and they'll fill you in on the details. We're just gonna fight a war. You know, normal things you do when on a quest. We're gonna climb a rope. Cool. Did anybody have to do that in gym class? Like, try to climb a rope? 
I remember that was always like a thing in the movies for a while where they'd have somebody trying to climb up a rope in gym class. I never had to do that. Did you guys have to do that? I'm excited we got some new music. Hello. Hmm, now this is something. I never thought anyone would ever climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against Shinra. You'd better get down before you get involved. These people are trying to warn me away. You had the rope, no knots in it either. <laughs> Praise had a hard time doing push-ups. Ah, I remember those days. I feel like for me, I always had a hard time trying to do pull-ups with the bar. That was always so difficult. And I've never been very flexible, even when I was a kid, and like trying to do toe touches was agonizing. And other kids could like grab the bottom of their shoes, and I'm like, eh, eh, like trying to touch my toes. <laughs> it was terrible. Ah, uh, you mean Shinra? Shinra, the hell those jackasses doing here? Uh, it appears you have a problem with Shinra too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? I guess so. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? Huh? Something's up there? Come on, let's get it together. The reactor and the condor. What's the condor? I can see you're very perceptive. Yes, it's a reactor and a condor. It seems the Shinra doesn't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. Damn, that's one big bird. But why are they trying to get rid of it with weapons? What's so wrong with having a condor on top of the reactor? It seems there's some type of special materia in the reactor above us. And because the condors came, the Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villagers off this mountain. The condors are now warming their eggs, which hatch only once every few years. We would like to protect the condors from being harmed. New lives? I'll do it. I'll protect them from Shinra. Condor's eggs, a real work of nature. We've got to protect the life of the planet. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. That's why we have hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help us with a contribution or by fighting alongside of us. What do you think? Do you want to join us in our fight? Cloud's like, do we really have time for this? What's there to think about? We gotta do it. Cloud. All right. Cloud, thanks. Hey, we'll come to the rescue. Your strength lies in your brain, not the brawn. Pull-ups are just so hard. Yes, yes, I've also told the store owners about you, so they should sell you various items. And feel free to use our beds. All right, well, this is a thing we're doing that I didn't know we were going to be doing today. Saving some condors from the big bad Shinra. I guess let's take a nap. Say, let's take a rest, okay? Okay, let's do it. Take a little nap. Wait a minute, what was evil? Oh, having the rope without any knots in it? Right, that just seems impossible to do. I think there's a trick to getting started. You like hook your foot, like one foot under the rope to kind of like get a start, but it looks really challenging to do. Um, I, I wanna save my game. I'm like, what am I doing? I am saving the game. I wonder if they still do the, what was it called? Like presidential fitness something or other that we had to do as kids. Do they still do that? I don't even know. Is it still a thing? And what did we get like a patch or a sticker or something for doing that? 
We had to complete like so many different challenges. I feel like the only thing I was good at was running. That was about it. Hello. Do your best. We will too. The number of times you made it up the dang rope is zero. I mean, were there any kids in your class that could actually do that? I feel like that was such a hard thing to do. Okay, well, we've got plenty of fire, lightning. Yeah, we've got all of these. I don't know that we need to buy anything. What's over here? <clears throat> you hang in there. Yeah, I feel like we're pretty good at the moment. That was a dead end. That's a dead end. I guess we go this way. There was one girl that was able to do it. Rock on! That's cool that somebody at least was able to do it. But yeah, I, I just wonder, like, who decided that needed to be the thing for physical fitness is like, all right, just climb, climb the rope, children. Go climb the rope. <laughs> I'm just going to stand in the corner and laugh as the gym teacher. <laughs> Thanks for accepting. Let me explain our strategy. The enemy will climb the mountain looking for the reactor. We will leave a trap for them and hire soldiers to protect the area. Well, that's all, but this village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, our hands are tied because we're broke. So did they spend all their money on soldiers then? Is that how this happened? If we hired one soldier, we would need 400 gil. So if we hire 20 soldiers, we must have 8,000 gil. So if you folks have the time, we would like you to use your own money to hire these soldiers, buy the trap, set it up, and command the troops. So we have to do everything for these people. What? If you're pressed for time, we'd like you to help us with the money. If you can give us the money, we can then hire soldiers with the funds and block Shinra's attack. It's starting to feel a little... a little shady. We, we know that we're, what we're asking is selfish. We have sent our wives and children to another village. We are resigned to our fate. Let's get back to square one. If the enemy penetrates our shed, you'll have to fight them immediately. Well, just because you lost once, it's not the end of the world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. Now then. What is this? This is interesting. Okay, we can win by wiping out the enemy or killing the commander. Okay. This is very long winded. I feel like this is over complicated. If Shinra wins, they take it all. Okay, got it. There are four types of enemies wyverns, beasts, barbarians, commanders. Stoner and tri stoner aren't effective against them. I like how there's a stoner move. <laughs> Beasts are monster types that do not move quickly but have explosive attacking power. Barbarians. Humans. They attack indirectly, so you've got to be on your toes. Commanders. So I wonder what's the best strategy. Do we just try to take out the commander and let everything else happen? Oh, there's different kinds of soldiers. Fighters, attackers, defenders, shooters, repairers, and workers. I feel like this is uh, morphing into, <laughs> like, Age of Empires. I'm getting Age of Empire vibes now. I mean, we've got catapults for crying out loud. We're getting something interesting out of this. Praise doesn't like this part. I'm, th I'm thinking I'm not going to like this part either. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear about any of it. I just want to get it over with. <laughs> Is that bad? Oh my gosh. Uh, we're just going to wing it, because that's what I do. About funding. We have 
You guys told me you were broke. Now you're claiming you have 15,000 gil. Make up your mind. I need 3,000 gil for each battle. How much can you have? Well, we've got extra money. We'll just give them all the monies. Do I have to give... How much money do I have? I don't remember. We have 30,000 gil. That's enough money for now. If we run out, we'll just ask you for more. <laughs> I feel like there's a joke in, like, there's a parenting joke here. Like, are you now my child? <laughs> oh, goodness. I'll take care of you. I'll be Daddy Cloud. First off, we must prepare the troops. Move the cursor wherever the X mark does not appear. Then press the circle button to set up. After all positions are in place, select by pressing the X button. This starts the battle. Soldiers can only be arranged near the shed in the beginning. That's because if the soldiers are too far away, they won't be able to follow instructions. <laughs> they start going rogue if they get too far away, I guess. <laughs> game Master, I'm never playing this game. I love Age of Empires. Well, I like two and three. I don't think I've ever played the first Age of Empires. Wasn't, um, let's see. We have to do all the things. <laughs> uh, let's see. Soldiers can be instructed by pushing the select button. So if any commands are unclear, push it. Soldiers can report by pushing the circle button. Oh, this is getting way too complicated for me. The cursor will move to the soldier who made the report. You can, be, you can bet Shinra will send platoons at you on a regular basis. It would be great if you could spare the time to help us. Okay, well we gave them a bunch of money. Um, we're just gonna wing it. I feel like I would have to take notes to understand what all is going on here. Hey, this one climbing up here looks like they'd be just right. Please, any help is appreciated. Um, sure, let's do it. Let's see how bad I can botch this. You have 10 enemies. There appear to be many beasts, so you may want to deploy more attackers. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought the game froze for a second. I was like, oh no. Oh no, <laughs> what's going on? Okay, so there's the X's. We've got two, it looks like two trails, right? So we wanna block off the trails. Oh dear Lord, what is this? We've got fighters, defenders, we've got shooters. Repair, what are the repairers going to repair? The shed? What is? What does the worker do? Can set a bomb, can repair any low power. No, low power. Can repair an ally. Isn't that a healer? If you can repair an ally, I would say that's a healer. Can set a bomb. Stoner. Can roll a stone. Can't move. <laughs> Catapult. Okay, and we have to pay even more money to get these things. What? Oh, good lord. This was a little much for you to praise. I'm feeling it's a little bit much for me. <laughs> okay, uh, well. One to four, one to five. Who has the best range? One to three. I feel like a shooter should have more of a range than that, wouldn't you think? One to four, one to five. Okay, so catapults are gonna shoot the farthest. Oh dear, what is this? How do I go back? I don't wanna, ooh! Can I move it? I meant to go back. Oh, nope. Nope. I didn't really want this to be here. 
Gosh darn it. I don't understand the assignment. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna put some people down the hill. We'll have the catapult at the top of the hill. No, you know what? I feel like we should have two catapults. No. Oh. Gosh darn it. Um, okay, so let's put a catapult here. I guess. Okay, no. Um. Who should we have right by the shed? A fighter right by the shed? Attack 30, attack 25. So these, the fighters are better. Regular units, no weaker opponents, no stronger opponents. Beasts, beats the beast. Loses to barbarian, moves fast. Or should we put a defender? Maybe we should put a defender by the shed. <laughs> I like his little animation. Uh, okay, so we have a defender. We have some catapults. Uh, do we put some like frontline fighter fighters here? We know there's beasts, so I guess. Gosh darn it. keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, so we'll put that one there. We'll put one here. Who should we put? Should we put the other fighter? Attacker. Defender. I have no idea. I like have no frame of reference for how much stuff we need. Like, should I be putting stuff Like, do I need to be putting stuff, like, way down here? The guy said not to put stuff far away from the shed, so I feel like we, sh we shouldn't put stuff down here. This looks like a booby trap. Do we need the guys that set the bombs here? If they set off a bomb, will the stuff fall down the hill? Okay, it won't even let me put stuff down here anyways, will it? It's all X'd out. Oh, we can put people here, I guess. Okay, well, I guess let's, uh, let's put more stuff in here. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. I'm spending all my monies. Okay, we'll put some shooters, we'll put some fighters. Put a defender. How does the repair person work? Do they have to be like super close? Guess we'll put a repairer here. Oops, that was a fighter. That was a fighter, whoops. I guess we'll put a repairer up here. This is stressful. Should we put more defenders up here? Oh, I was kind of wanting to sneak another trebuchet up here, but I feel like they're just gonna blow up my trebuchet because it's kind of sticking out a little bit. Oh well, we'll just, we'll, we'll go. We'll go with it. What else do we want? What does the stone do? The stone person rolls a stone. Is that good? Do we want a stoner? Let's, sure, let's, ooh, hello stoner. I guess we'll put another stoner here. Hopefully the stoners don't hurt our people. All right, I'm gonna call this good enough. We're just gonna do it. 
Oh, that's the line. Okay, how do we start? Yes, start the game. Here we go. What? Oh, we got some enemies. They're coming. Oh, this is going to take 500 years. They're moving very slow. How can I increase the speed? Return to the game. Raise game speed. I, I want this to be done and over with. Oh, that's high speed. I feel like I should have put stoners uh, at the bottom after watching this in action. That would have been a better move. I would have done that differently, I think. Can we fast forward? All right, we're finally almost within range. All right, we, we knocked a dude. We got another hit in. Encountered enemy. Okay, now what? What does it mean? I under... I... What is it? What a... Uh, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Do I remove it? Direction. That doesn't help me. Okay, I lost a catapult. Fighter. Action? So I have to control what they do? Attack? Attack? Okay, am I doing it? Enemy destroyed. Okay, at least we did one thing right. It says that when an enemy starts attacking one of your units. It says that when an enemy starts attacking one of your units. Okay. Attack. Oh no! How many enemies are we going to have to deal with? Attack! Okay, well, we knocked out two. Do we just wait? I like how this one... Oh, there's a dude over here being sneaky. Look at them being all sneaky over there. So... Can I go out of my way to attack? I guess I can. Action. Oh, so I can just, like... Well, what do I want to do? Do I want to bring them up to fight? Or just leave them there? I don't really want that guy to fight by himself. I guess, can we send two to attack? I do not like this. <laughs> I am regretting coming here. We should have just gave them some cash and said, good luck. Good luck. Okay, keep attacking. That guy's shooting. Warning! What's my warning? 
Oh! That's my warning. These guys are being so sneaky. Attack! Can I not attack from there? Attack. Can I select this guy to come attack too? Can he like come over and help? Good lord. This is cumbersome. Now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head. No, I don't want you to move. No. No, I don't want you to move. What the heck? You stay over here, sir. No, stop. Ugh, I don't want you to go over there. Wait, who have I s- who- Ugh. Oh my gosh. This is pain. This is pain! Absolute pain and agony. Seven Mary Three. Yes, the horror kid knows what's up. How are you? Welcome to the madness that is uh, Age of Empires Final Fantasy VII Edition. I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on, but you might actually. You might know what's going on. I certainly don't know what's going on. We're just kind of here for the ride. How is everybody? I feel like we need something fun to talk about because this is just a travesty. How do I select you? No, I want, I want you to... Uh... Who's Spider 2? You stay where you are. I want you to attack. I need you to... Nah! I want you to heal. Gosh darn you. Can I not heal? That's the healer but it doesn't let me do anything with the healer. I want them to heal this person. This mini game just raised your blood pressure. <laughs> ah! It's, uh, it's certainly doing something to me. I'm not really sure what. Oh, we got a big boy coming. Look at this big boy. That looks like it came straight out of Star Fox. That reminds me of like the Star Fox robot stuff. I really suck at Star Fox, by the way. That's a game I I remember we rented it uh, when I was young, and I thought it was so cool, it was the future. I just never sat down to get good at that game. Um, hello? Can you, can you attack? I don't want you to move, I want you to attack, sir. Okay, well, we're attacking now. I'd really like my healer to actually heal, but uh, I guess they don't they don't do that. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, so they're toast. I might as well send this dude over. Oops. Action. Why can't I... I don't understand why some people I can send them to do stuff and then other ones I can't. You know what I mean? Like, how does that make any sense at all? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I can't just make them do something. It won't let me. Oh, now they'll move. I don't want you to move. I want you to fight, sir. I guess go engage the enemy. 
Okay, we, we got something going on. You, you with the pointy hat, sir. You keep fighting. I want you to go to help, sir. Go, go do your thing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Horror Kid. Haven't played this in close to 30 years, but yeah, it got weird. It certainly has its moments. Oh, I didn't realize that they could just go straight through there. I understand we've encountered the enemy. I need you to go, go here. I need you. Yay! We did the thing. I never want to do that again. <laughs> that was a chore. Oh my gosh, that was good, but Shinra's troops will be back. Be sure and scout the area well. We don't know when they'll attack again. We have 12 allies left, so here's 2400 gil. Oh yeah, I found this just now on the battlefield. Maybe it'll come in handy for you guys. Oh, a magic comb. We can brush Cloud's magical hair with his magic comb. Victory is truly ours. <laughs> yes, we're leaving now. Absolutely, let's get out of here because that's just not fun to me. I don't want to do it anymore. We helped them fight the good fight. We did our part. I feel like, uh, yeah, we did our part and I'm okay with that. Good luck with your war losers. <laughs> His magical. Chocobo hair. I know, right? He's a unicorn. I just love how they have that extra prominent hair spike. Just so you don't forget, he is a unicorn. He is special. Okay, let's peace out of here. Where should we go next? Let's leave the mountain. Although I hope the condor eggs hatch and they are, they are plentiful and many. Okay, it looks like there's another dot over this way. Let's see if we can get to that dot. Um, shoot. Doesn't look like we can walk there. Game Master's like, let's get anywhere but here. I feel you. Ooh, what's this? Big bird. Big bird, little birds. I suppose magic works good with these guys. Let's, let's try some magic. I just want to use an electric type on a flying type because inherently I've been trained to do that. Oh, these guys are weak sauce. They're super weak sauce. I wasn't expecting that. Were we supposed to have come here earlier in the game? I wasn't expecting that. Maybe we were supposed to already have been here by now. I see a dot over here, sort of. Can we get to this dot? Have we been to this dot before? I'm not sure. We've been to some of them over here. I have a really bad recollection of which dot is which location of the ones we've been to. They're not weak, you're just too strong. Sun's out, gun's out. <laughs> or something. All right, that should do the trick. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember if we've been to this other dot. I know we've been to like the dots along the top of this area. I don't remember if we've come to this one or not, though. 
We're getting close. We're getting close. Where is it? Oh, yeah, we've been there. We've been there. I recognize that place. Okay. It's like a cactus bird. Okay. Well, I guess let's go get our airplane boat and keep on boating along as you do. I'm trying to decide if it's even worth fighting these guys. Or should we just run away and save our time? Pretty close to the main objective. Ooh! I feel like it was only a matter of time till we stumbled upon where we need to get to. Hooray! We did it! That was so hard. Where is our... We are the red dot. We need to get to the teal dot. Teal dot! Teal dot! Memorize the spot from the map on Tuesday. <laughs> Game Master's got it down. Knows what is going on. I just wonder if the materia was worth it from the condor. Like, is that a game changing thing that we should have suffered for? I just don't know that that was worth it. Like, how many battles would we have had to have done? It just seemed like too much. Too much. Okay. We're almost to the Little Bronco. Still think that's a great name. Nothing compares to Buchenhagen, though. By far, my favorite character name in the game. Buchenhagen. I just enjoy saying it. It just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> okay, uh, can we get to that other dot from this side? That is the question. I went all the way around the continent on the other side just for fun, so I hope we don't have to go all the way back. Because that would kind of suck. Nope. Okay, so we can't go that way. Can we walk there from foot by foot from this little beach? No, I don't think we can. Isn't this kind of like... Yeah, this isn't that far from where we were before. So I don't think that's going to work out for us. So maybe we have to go... Do we have to go all the way around? Because that's just tedious. You get the Phoenix Materia, which does damage and revives players. It's a summon, a red one. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. I haven't hardly used summons at all in this game, though. I should probably use them more. I kind of tend to just forget about them for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe they'll be a little more influential later in the game. I have no idea. Well, we're tough. I feel like we're definitely taking the scenic route today. We're enjoying the scenery. We're taking in the sights, taking in the views. Yeah, everybody just said like we had to go super south. So that's why I went way down there because that's the southernmost dot, but we couldn't even get to it. Mm -hmm. 
knights takes a lot of work to get, as it should be. Summons are decent in this, but the OP ones are really good, like Knights of the Round, Neo Bahamut, etc. Oh no! What the heck? We can't get to this dot. How am I supposed to get there? Do I have to walk over there? Guess we can park here. Why is this so hard? Why can't I get to this dot? Can I walk over here? Whole series of things to do. It's a lot. I was really close earlier. What? <sighs> Am I gonna have to look this up? Okay, well these guys aren't very strong. Your guess is that you needed to go south at one point and you just went back east and looped to where you are now. Is it this dot though? That dot that is like so tantalizingly close? Is that the one I need to get to? <laughs> Cause to me that's not very south. gonna have to look this up I feel like oh we got the motorcycle dudes I remember you they've got big arms and teeny tiny wheels a little more south according to the map on Tuesday inconceivable Oh, that's Midgar right there. What the heck? All right. I'm just gonna look it up. A yield defeat. Temple of the, oh my gosh, I can't even type right now. Temple of the Ancients. Final Fantasy VII map. Tell me where it is. Um, these maps look like new maps. I want to see what it looks like on the PlayStation 1 map. This isn't very helpful. Okay, so it is, it is farther south. For sure. But how did I get up? How do I get there? Why is this so hard? And we're sure we can get there with this plane. We don't need like an airship to get there. I almost feel like, I don't know, maybe I just missed something. I just felt like we needed the airship to get down in there. Because I assume we get an airship at some point because it wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without an airship, right? <laughs> I was right next to the land where it is earlier. Grr. Grr, grr, grr. Okay, so that's a dead end. So does that mean I have to go back around the other way yet again? I think I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I guess let's drive around some more. At least we don't have to deal with random enemy encounters when we're just boating around. Boating around. Okay, let's see if we can make it. Imagine getting attacked boating around. I know, that would make this just like pulling teeth to get anywhere. It's hard enough going by foot when you're trying to focus on getting to a destination. Oh, Game Master's calling out Dragon Quest. 
Oh, we had a that's what she said moment. We have a sound bite for that and an emote for that now. So I'm trying to make sure all of our that's what she said moments are covered and duly noted and celebrated as they should be. All right, we're getting a little bit closer to that elusive dot. It's over here. Can I beach the plane over here though? Is this attached? Okay, that is attached. So theoretically we can walk over there, right? No. Ooh, maybe this is our ticket. Is this our ticket? Is this it? Is this it? Ah, we found it! Yay! <laughs> Sweet success. 84 years later. Well done. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I know I was right there earlier. That's frustrating. We got some new music, I dig it. We're, oh, oh, ah, thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the little things. Don't forget to save. You know what, that's a good idea. Should we go outside and save? So we don't have to do this again. Keeping me on task, I appreciate that. Good thinking, using the old brain. What? You are internally screaming at me? I feel like I probably have had that effect on a few of you. Like, what was she thinking? What is she doing? Oh, dear. Okay, we're saved. We're here. What's gonna happen next? Are we gonna finally make it to disc two? I sure hope so. Man, he just goes up those stairs like it's nothing. Oh cool, we got some fire. We got some Indiana Jones vibes going on. He likes his shrug, doesn't he? Like, I don't know what this is. If this doesn't get us to disc two, I'm writing. <laughs> Why are we just shrugging? Can we really not do anything in here? Kaba bo baba. That just rolls off the tongue. Welcome in, welcome in. The biggest animation trope for games in the 90s was uh, the old Indiana Jones. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. What else can we do? Don't tell me we just came here to do nothing. Does that mean we were supposed to have done something else somewhere along the way? I have missed a thing? Do I need to run around every layer of the cake? Can I do that? Can I get on this layer? No. Hmm. Hmm, I say, hmm. Oh, the shrug animation. Gotcha. Well, it looks like we are supposed to do something, but I don't know what it is. That stinks. Does something happen when we leave? T to the internet! <laughs> to the internet, I say. 
Let's see, I'm trying to recall what happened. So, let's see, we got Sid. And they all said that Sephiroth was heading to the Temple of the Ancients, which is to the south. And I assume that's what this is. The internet also told me that that's what this island is. Yes, Shira was precious. Shira needs all the love to recover from her terrible abuse. I'm just trying to think if they talked about anything else. The other place we went to um, was like that digging site with the bones and they told us about coming down here south and then they warned us to not to go into the forest because the forest would surely kill us. So I wonder if maybe we were supposed to go into that forest? Um, Maybe there was something in there we needed to do first before we came here. That's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. So that's kind of what I'm inclined to do is to maybe go back there and check that place out a little bit more because they were talking about this location too. Uh, let's see, which dot would that have been? I think it was that more northern, like straight north from here. I think that was what it was. Game Master, you're feeling a lack of flow with this game at times. So does that mean I must go all the way around the continent again? And to go back up to that one spot? Yeah, I'm just trying to remember any other details that were spoken. And that's really all that's coming to my mind, was those people who talked about the temple, they were digging up bones. I just wonder if we're supposed to have an item to stick into that box that Cloud was just shrugging about? Like we're supposed to have something with us to put in there? That's all I've got at the moment. So let's, we'll go back up here. We'll see if we die in the forest and go from there, I suppose. Don't need a beacon telling us where to go, but it's just starting to get frustrating. I'm sure we'll stumble upon it. I just wish it didn't take quite so much time to get around. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty sure that dot is that one that's like right up above us. I think that's where the bones were. Yes, okay, this is what I was talking about. So let's go back to this location. Let's talk to these people. What were you telling us? Bone Village, blah, 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 blah. Have you seen Sephiroth? He was looking for the Temple of the Ancients. It's way down south. It's right on the other side between this town and the Inland Sea. It's the pyramid that rises within the forest. How do you get in? You'll need a keystone. Oh yeah, we talked about a keystone. I heard that some rich guy has it. Okay, so that is what we were missing. I forgot that um, they had mentioned a keystone. Okay, so I'm wondering where are we supposed to go to find the rich guy? I'm assuming Rufus is the rich guy, right? I don't, I don't know where we're supposed to go to find the rich guy. You can awaken the sleeping forest if you have the lunar harp. Once awake, they say the forest will open a road for you. Okay, so maybe we can't go into the forest then. That's right. Okay. Right now it's asleep. Anyone who wanders in, it confuses. You can go in, but you may never come out. 
Well, what do we want to do? Do we want to try to go into the forest? If I was a rich guy, where would I be? Keystone, we need some cheap beer. <laughs> I feel like I'm inclined to go back to Midgar and go to the Shinra Tower and see if Rufus is there, but I have no idea. Like, I don't know outside of that where I would go. Like, who else is considered to be a rich guy? If not him. I'm just trying to think of the other characters that we have met along the way. Maybe it's a new character that we haven't met. Did that guy tell us all there is to tell us? Somebody that has a big attraction? Oh, the, the guy we had to dress up as a girl for? I guess he has money. He has a big house and lots of women. <laughs> I guess we could go back there. That's a good choice. I don't think he tells us anything else, does he? No. Keystone. Rich guy. Okay. You remember there's something to do here with digging, but you don't remember. Oh, I'm close? A rich guy with an attraction? A big attraction of sorts. What is this hint? Big attraction of sorts. I'm just trying to... This is the, the bad part about me not playing this very often over a big span of time, is I've already forgotten some details of the game from playing it for a while. Oh... I guess he would be rich too, right? The gold saucer owner. Okay, so we've got we've got a few options. Ah, <laughs> uh, I I just wish this was laid out a little clearer. Um I don't even remember how to get back to the gold saucer. How did we get to the gold saucer in the first place? I feel like that makes more sense than going back to a uh, wall market. I feel like that makes more sense. Oh, goodness. I feel like it's one of the dots over here, but I honestly don't remember where to go. What dots over here? Might have to look that one up, too. Uh, okay, that's the leading rocket town. That's where we came out of. Do I have to go through the cave again? I don't really want to go through the cave again to get to the other side. <laughs> Thanks, Cave Master. <sighs> oh, goodness. I just don't know the best way to get back there. I hate backtracking. I just want to be able to take the plane to get to where I need to go. You know what I mean? I'm hoping there's a way to get over there without having to go through that tunnel. Okay. It's a pretty simple mountain. Get to Saucer via Mount Corral, the mining town. I just don't remember how to get back there. Where's Mount, Mount Corral? Mm. 
Well, it shows... I don't know. This thing... Sh Ugh. Can you see that? It shows Gold Saucer away from... North Corel? Oh, good lord. It looks like it's the... Can I even get through these mountains? It looks like it's that dot that's kind of at a diagonal from us. I just don't know how to get over there the best way. Like, can I drive a little closer? Let's see if we can drive a little closer. I don't know if we can, though. Oh, this is tedious. I, I just want... I just want to be there. Nope, we can't drive south. Or no, maybe... Nope, that takes us to the other side. So I can't even drive over there. So what's the best way to get there, I guess? That's annoying. Yeah, you can see why strategy guides were so useful. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure the guide for this one was super beefy, too. I was kind of curious if we can drive down into that part that, like, uh, comes in a little bit, like that bay. Maybe we can walk across there. I have no idea. We're going to give it a try. I don't know if it's gonna let us or not. We're almost to that spot. It's like right there. It, well, we're so close to it. Can I get out? Can I get out? Ha ha! Yes! We're moving? This is bad. Who boy, there's no way we can walk across now. What? Good lord, you've gotta be kidding me. How m uh. Okay. What is going on? Negative 200 points. We're just taking points away. <laughs> ah. Why? Not even a Chocobo could make it across. Isn't there a more powerful vehicle? Game! Well, apparently that's not the rich person we want. Or am I... Because I don't think I can get the buggy over here, can I? Does he say anything else? Is there a more powerful vehicle? Am I supposed to somehow get the buggy and drive it over here? Or is there something else that I need to get? <sighs> so the question is, is this really where I need to go? I just need to find a different way to get here. Or is this not where I need to go and I need to go somewhere else? I'm not sure which it is. The only way is through the mining town. You have no idea where you need to go for the keystone. Fair enough. I mean, I, I've been trying to play this, um, you know, without looking things up, but I feel like I'm almost getting to a point where I'm gonna waste a lot of time stumbling around and might figure it out. I don't know. I, I'm just not feeling very clear about what to do. Oh, I don't like those guys. Get out of here. 
Oh, sorry, Tifa. Those guys suck. Stumble around a lot in Okami. That was your complaint. It's very cryptic. It's been a while since I played Okami. My So my biggest gripe with that game, I'm not going to spoil it, but it should have ended sooner than what it did, I guess. That's my only, my only beef with that game. Okay, well we have to use a phoenix down. Where's my phoenix downs? Well, that's annoying. Okay, um... How do I get back to the top? We need to arrange... I've got too much crap. There we go. Too much junk. I really don't know how we can still walk with all this junk that we have. How are we not too heavy? Okay. Okay. What do we want to do? Where's the mining town? What's the mining town? Is North Corral the mining town? Can I walk to North Corral? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. Or maybe we should try to drive up a river over there. Can we get to that? I, I know, Cloud, I know. We're gonna try to do something. A lot of junk in Cloud. <laughs> Cloud's got all the junk in his trunk. Okay, so we're gonna try to go to the dot north of this dot. There's waterfalls. Can we walk there from over here? I have no idea. Let's give it a go. Am I gonna have to go through a cave to get there? I might. What blows my mind that is with games like Nine, they do a way better job of game flow. You never really got lost your first time through. Hot dang, that was a big hit. One demon gate. <laughs> Much less cryptic. Yeah, I agree, Praise. I don't remember really getting lost in 9. But again, it's been a long time since I played 9. We got a Lucille nut. Delicious. My favorite. So we need to go through the cave to get to the mining town. That is the question. I feel like this cave wasn't that... Oh, no, it's here again. Is that right? Uh, what's the best way to get out of this place? <laughs> I still never did figure out how to get that materia or that treasure box. I tried jumping off of things. There's like nowhere to jump from. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. You like the song? Under the Rotting Pizza? Are you saying that's the name of the song? There's no way.
You believe so? Are you for real? Enter the rotting pizza. That's just silly. Got him. Fire Fang! Oh, which door should we go through? Do we want to go up or do we want to go through here? I don't remember what's through here. Okay, well at least we're out. Oh, maybe that is where I need to be. Gosh darn it. Uh, let's go ahead and heal real quick while we're out. Maybe I'm supposed to go up the ladder. Underneath the rotting pizza. I think it's referring to the plates above Midgar. Yeah, I mean, I could see that, right? Rotting pizza is a, an interesting description for it. Satisfying. That was beautiful. Okay, let's get out of here. I want to figure this out. How do we get the keystone? Sword beam waves. I know it's so satisfying. Man, I like do not remember my way through this place. I'm just not sure I could have gotten there with the plane. So that's why I'm like, oh, I'll just go through the cave. But maybe that was a poor choice. Milk was a poor choice. Oh well, at least we're gaining some extra EXP while we're running all over creation trying to figure this out. Is that the silver lining? Perhaps. How do I get out of here? It's so twisty, twisty. our car. Cool. Oh look, the poop nuggets are still out. Hello, poop nugget. Goodbye, poop nugget. Hi, dog. The dog is sad. Aww. Okay. How do I get over there? Oh wait, oh wait, I'm going the wrong direction. Hold up, hold up, I need to go this way. What the heck? I am confused about how I got to where I am. these lions and let's reassess the map here. Okay, got it. Got it, 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 got it
Got it, got it. Okay, so we are here. We're at Old Nibelheim. I need to get over there, but there's a mountain in my way. Gosh darn it. So that going through that did not help me. <laughs> it's the long story short. That did not help me. How do I get this way? Oh, and there's my stupid airplane. Oh, I should took my should I took my stupid airplane up that river. Now I'm far away from my stupid airplane. No. Oh, good lord. I'm making this way more hard than it needs to be. This isn't fun. I'm not having fun. I just want to have fun. Game. Okay. I need to flip an airship. Can you just give me an airship? I'm done with the shenaniganry. I need to get up there. Can I go around here to get up there? I don't know. I just don't know. Can I get over there? <sighs> now see, I feel like if you're in a vehicle, you should be immune from fights. I'm just putting that out there. I'm trying to get somewhere. I do not want to fight. I am in a dune buggy. Let me dune buggy. Mother nature at it again. You live in the mountains. Why is it 70s in November? Uh, it's in the 80s where I am at, but I am not in the mountains. I would trade the mountains for this gladly, though. Okay, so there's Cosmo Canyon. Right? That's Cosmo Canyon? I'm pretty sure it is. Can I get north? Can I get through that pass and, like, wind... Ooh, that's a pretty monster. It's got a peacock tail. I don't remember this. Oh, it's like a nice peacock griffin. That's cool. We killed it, but it was... Cool and majestic for a minute. There's nothing on the sea to fight. <laughs> Peacock Griffin was weak, I know, right? Can I? Gosh darn it. I just want. not where I want to. I want to get around that stupid mountain. I don't think I can. I don't remember Big Robot Boy. He's gonna touch me with his finger. I'm losing my patience. I just want to drive. Just let me drive, please. Please. I forget the name of the item in Pokemon where you can throw it down and the enemies will leave you alone. I need whatever that is. Repel? Is it repel? Like repellent? I'm miserable. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. <sighs> I 
Am I gonna go? Yeah, I can't even talk anymore. Am I going to have to go back through this stupid cave to get back to my stupid plane? I think I'm gonna have to do that because I don't think I can drive around these mountains to get to the other side. Hey, there's the majestic griffin again. Hello, griffin. Goodbye, griffin. <laughs> Who ordered the Gundam? Well, at least we got a phoenix down out of it. That's at least something useful. Okay, well, this stinks. Stinks, stinks, stinks. I'm like this close to looking up where we're supposed to go. I'm this close. This close. Because I don't even think we can drive over to where the golden saucer is. Right? Because it's right over there. But I think there were too many rocks in the way to get over there anyways. Can I just, like, get right there? That would be wonderful, please. Okay. Hey, hybrid divide. How's it going? I'm currently banging my head against the wall. I hope you're having a better time. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go back through. I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. Hybrid, how is your day? Have you had a good week? You're at work? <laughs> well, hopefully the day will go quick and you'll be able to relax later on, do something that you wanna do. All right, I'm not fighting anything. I'm just gonna run away from everything so we can try to get through here because I'm sick and tired of this. I want to figure out what we're doing. Screw the EXP at this point. Run away! <laughs> Making the bread, right? wonder like how did that come about like why do they start to call money dough and bread and all the other slang words for the monies random things to think about <laughs> we're gonna run away we're gonna run away it wasn't that a song my brain is telling me that's like a part of a song Oh, it's a Lincoln Park song, isn't it? It's like, gonna run away, gonna run away, gonna run away, gonna run away. And open up your eyes. I'm gonna run, oh, oh, it's like at the tip of my tongue. Is it run away or is it get away? Maybe it's get away. Do you guys know the Lincoln Park song I'm so desperately trying to remember right now? Is it run away? Uh, I can like kind of remember it. I think it's from Hybrid Theory. I think it's from that CD. Is the song called A Place For My Head? Maybe that's what it's called. 
it's like I want to be with the energy not in no not in the enemy that's not right I'm gonna think of it eventually after I'm done streaming the song will just magically pop into my head and I'll be like oh yeah I know that one well runaway is also from Monty Python and the Holy Grail that was the first runaway I was going for, and my brain is like, oh yeah, we know something else about runaway too, don't we? <laughs> a place for my head is a different song. Ah! <laughs> I'm just butchering this. What's, ah? Uh, I'm getting them all mixed up now. I need to listen to that CD, apparently, because I haven't listened to it in a long time. Just let me go! My patience is wearing thin. Oh, so thin. Seven Castle Forest, welcome in, by the way. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good one. I'm lost. I'm trying to figure out what the heck we're supposed to do, and I am failing. Okay. So we had come up this river, and on the other side was the golden saucer, and here is a waterfall that we can't get up. So, so there's the golden saucer. I cannot go this direction, which is the direction I want to go. The game is like, F you. You're gonna flail about miserably and be lost. That is your gift. Have we been there? What is this? Have we been here? I don't remember this. What is this? What's this? What's this? Hello, ponytail man. Oh, another customer. You sure should blah, 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 blah. you sure picked an out of the way place, but if it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. Don't have it. Who the heck are you? And why do you know I'm looking for the keystone? Keystone? What? You didn't come here for that? No, but I'd love it. Could you just give it to me? The keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. I know. You're not going to believe your ears, but I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. The Temple of the Ancients? We've, we've been there, you dummy. Kya, ha ha ha. Don't take it seriously, it's just a legend. Don't raise my hopes up. Don't tease me. Where is the keystone? I sold it already. You suck. <laughs> Yeah, well, to tell you the truth, I didn't really want to sell it, but that guy had a way about him that made you feel like it may not be a good idea not to sell it to him. Who did you sell it to? The manager of the Gold Saucer, I think his name was Dio, said he was going to put it in his museum, then he took off out of here. Okay. Well, I guess that confirms it. We do need to get to the Gold Saucer after all. What is, what else is here? It is I, Dio. Oh, Praise is off to get some lunch. Well, thank you so much for keeping us company and for hanging out. It was good to catch up. Can So can we not buy anything? Oh. Oh. I just love a good leaf. Thank you so much, Shot. Thank you. How are you doing today? Let's have another coffee. Cheers. Boop. My coffee is very cold and sad, but I'm, I'm still going to have a drink of it. <laughs> Pardon my slurping. Final Fantasy VII is just making me mad today. I'm not having fun. <laughs> but hopefully we can figure some more things out and have a good time. Okay, 
We have confirmed. We need to get to the gold saucer. We cannot walk to the gold saucer. I don't think I can get the car over to drive to it. Praise said we have to get to it from the mining town. So we're trying to get to the mining town. Very unsuccessfully, I might add. How the heck do I get out of here? And yes, we are only on disc one. <laughs> <laughs> Game Master already drank all the coffee. Seven Castle Forest knows where it's at. That's where we need to go. But we can't get there. So what am I going to have to do here? We've been to this place before. I just don't remember the best way to get to it since we've gone to a different part of the map. That is my problem. That is the problem. So last time we went through that cave because I foolishly thought if we went that way we would get to the other side where the town is because I'm trying to get to that dot. I think that's the dot I need to get to. But that didn't work. So we can maybe try to walk from this side, perhaps? I'm just not sure the best way to get over there. Maybe we'll drive over here a little farther and see if we can get a little closer. I guess maybe let's do this. There's Rocket Town. I need to get there. Okay, it does not look like I can walk from here, does it? I just want to look around. Can I just look around? No, I don't think I can walk from here. Can't park swimming bird machine without a valet. <laughs> I just need an airship. An airship would make life so much better. We're gonna take these guys out real quick. You forget the specific capabilities of the vehicle. Yeah, it can't go on to the land. We have a land vehicle, but where it is, I can't get it over to the Golden Saucer. At least, I don't think so. I think it's just gold saucer, not golden. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it golden. It's the gold saucer, I believe. <sighs> so what I was thinking is we just try to get close enough and then I can walk the rest of the way, but it seems like I, I am not finding the accessible place. Get on there. Where is a dark blue Chocobo when you need one? Oh my goodness. I should have titled this stream, Let's Get Lost, for almost two hours. Because that's a fun time. Can I park anywhere? No. A good title for the VOD. I've been naming them so boring because I don't really know what else to do. Oh, is that where we need to get to? That's where we need to get to, I think. Right? Is that it? <laughs> I can't drive over there. Sad face. Sad face is sad. That's just a little island. Gosh darn it, what am I supposed to do? Can you not walk into the desert up to the gold saucer? No, we tried that because that would make sense. He just says he needs a more powerful vehicle. Not even a Chocobo can get there. Um, I can't get there by the plane. What the heck am I missing? What am I missing, guys? Ugh. 
I just am very frustrated today. Like, do we need to try to get to Costa del Sol and then walk over from there? I feel like that's our best bet, but I don't know if I can drive over there. Can I even drive over there? We hit a dead end this direction, so I'm gonna have to go all the way back around again. Good lord. Octo Rock is in the house. Hey man, how is it going? I got turned around. How are you doing? Oh shoot, I, I totally did get turned around, didn't I? I need to. I need to get through here and around. Oh, won't let me. Oh, will, will let me get there. No. <sighs> I'm losing my mind, Octorok. I'm losing my mind today. I wish you found me in a slightly better mood. <laughs> Came in late. Have you been to the mining town? I'm trying to get to the mining town. I can't figure out how to get there is my problem. I mean, Mount Corel is the... Or North Corel is the mining town, right? Am I missing something? North Corel is the mining town. Okay, that's what I've tried been that 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 been attempting to get to. North Corel. Why can't I figure out how to get there? <laughs> Octorok is like, what did I walk into? This uh, seems a little bit tense. I'm trying to get to a town and I can't figure out how to get there since I'm on this side of the map is my problem. Um, so the dot I need to get to is the one, like the continent I am beside, it's the one that's in the middle towards the top. That's what I'm trying to get to. But I kept reaching a dead end. Yeah, it's on the north side. And I, I can't figure out how to get back. Like, I've been there before, but I can't figure out how to get back there. <sighs> so we even, like, went through the mountains. We went back to Nibelheim. And then we got stuck on that side. And I don't think I can drive around with the car or the dune buggy. I tried to get close with the airplane and I just kept running into dead ends. So I am not sure what I'm doing wrong, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, I'll be done in about 20 years. Hybrid Divide wants to play some Final Fantasy Tic Tacs. I, I have a copy of that game. I think, no. What was the one that was bundled with Chrono Trigger on PS1? That's whatever I have. I don't remember if that's Tactics or if it's a different one. So yeah, there's the car. But we can't drive the car over there. At least I don't think so. Maybe I missed something. Let's maybe we'll just try driving the car again since we're right here. Maybe I'm just dumb. But <laughs> I couldn't figure out where I'm supposed to go. It can drive over shallow water. It can. We're just going to run away. Let's see, let's see. Let's get back in the car. I think we're going to wrap up soon anyways because we've been playing for a while. I was just really wanting to at least make it to the town. But yeah, I think my biggest gripe at this point is... Uh, enemy encounters while you're in a vehicle. I feel like that shouldn't happen. What do you guys think? 
Do you think you should get attacked while you're in a vehicle? Because I think it's crap. <laughs> I have strong opinions about that today. Just run them over. So I was at Nibelheim and I tried to walk from there. Like Rocket Town isn't that far away from here. It's like right over there. But it didn't seem like I could get through because of the terrain. Road warrior style. I know, right? We, sh we should be all powerful and protected in this. Okay, so we can go across the river. And over here is Cosmo Canyon. And I was hoping that maybe we could just drive across to get to Gold Saucer, but I don't think we can. <laughs> get some roadkill. Ah. Leave me alone! Don't turn me into a poop. It's been so long you can't fully remember. Yeah, I like we've been there before. I just don't remember how we got to here and how we get back. That's my issue. Because I've been playing this in like short intervals over several weeks now. And I just cannot quite remember. I can't drive at all. Okay, well that's good to know. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to drive over to it then. Because we already did that once. I thought maybe I missed something. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, 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 oh dear. We find North Corral, we win. I don't know that we're winning today. I feel like it's been the opposite of winning today. Octorok, what have you been listening to lately? What kind of music have you been into? And that goes for everybody. What kind of music have you guys been into? Just want to run away. Let me go. Why can't the penguins just leave me be? That's true. We did find the temple today, so all was not lost. I get so turned around. Where is the river? There's the river. Okay, there's the airplane. Yeah, because that's Nibelheim right here, right? I think so, right? Or is this a different town? Always listen to game music, so that varies by day. Thank goodness for video game music, right? It is so good. Although there was some big news yesterday with the OC Remix founder is stepping down to spend more time with family and stuff. Which is always a good thing, but it'll be interesting to see where OC Remix goes from here. I really like the Donkey Kong Country 2 serious monkey business. I always thought that was fun. Right, this is Nibelheim, right? Yeah, I believe so, right? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. <sighs> da, 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 da. Yes, so this is Nibelheim. We've walked through Nibelheim before. We went through the caves. And that spits you out on the other side where Rocket Town is, right? I don't know that there's another path we can take in the mountains to get to a different exit. I guess. I'm not sure. Yeah, Nibelheim. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. 
Seven Castle. Um, I've been trying just to figure this out on my own, but I'm just getting really frustrated. So I might look it up after the stream just so I don't waste a bunch of extra time. Like time is precious and I don't want to be wasting it just for a sense of pride in figuring it out myself, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. You're not finding anything specific though. Yeah, it's, I feel like I'm stuck on the south side of the continent. I can't figure out how to weasel my way back up. Hybrid has been listening to, oh, some deer smashing pumpkins. The demo version of Raindrops and Sun Showers. Yeah, I think you shared that. Um, that's been probably a few weeks ago. That was a different, like an interesting different version. It's always fun just to see the different takes that they've had on their own songs and how they change like the mood and the energy in it. So good choice, good choice. Octorok's been listening to a lot. The new Aurora single that dropped yesterday is fantastic. Mid-career Beck. Death from Above. I've listened to a little bit of Beck stuff. Probably not as much as what I should have, though. Very cool. Just a case where the game designers expected the player to go a certain direction, but it's easy to go a different way and get lost. I think that's a fair way to, to sum it up. I feel like I I just got stuck in a spot I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> you love the version of the song, you love the album version too, but the demo is good. Uh, I guess let's try to go... Were we able to go up and around? I totally forget where I even tried to, to swim the plane. I feel like we came up and around earlier, right? There's Rocket Town. But it looked like there's just the mountains there, right? I just want to look around. Let me look around. So I think the cave spits you out. So I don't think we can get there from here. Should be able to go from Rocket Town back to Gold Saucer. I can get to Gold Saucer, but you can't walk up to Gold Saucer. I need to take the, oh, whatever, um, why can't I think of the word for that? A tram, is tram the right word? I forget. Can I cut through here? No, that's a dead end. Gondola? Is it a gondola? I'm forgetting all my words right now. Cable car, thank you. Yes, I think we have to take that. Gosh, there's a dead end again. I could have swore I drove somehow. Maybe I have to go up this way. Good Lord. Well, this isn't helping me out. I need... Is that cost? That's Costa del Sol. I... Ugh, how do I get over there? I thought maybe I could get to Costa del Sol and walk from there. Like, what did I do wrong, guys? I feel like I'm completely locked out of getting to the northern part. What have I done? I am so frustrated right now. Um, head east along the river in Tiny Bronco until you can come in a beach area. Yeah, we went up a river in the desert. So I need to go back to the gold saucer and walk from there? Is that what you're suggesting we do? I'm giving, I'm like willing to give it a go. We just have to come back a bit. 
Yeah, because we tried that. I was thinking that was a dead end, though. But maybe I just missed something. We should be getting close now. Sort of. Okay, so that river, I think, takes us over, right? This is what you were talking about, right? Octorak. Um, so yeah, there's the desert. There's the gold saucer. You should be able to go north with the desert to the east until you get to North Corral. So you're saying I should do that by f by foot or like try... Because I don't think I can... Or sh I can't even talk anymore. Can I get any closer? No, that's a dead end. Okay, well, let's walk around a little bit. So go north with the desert to the east. I assume that's the desert. I should be able to walk from here. Well, how did I miss this earlier? Come on. Okay, I'm walking north. Yeah, I can't cross the water. Oh, maybe I need to drive. Or wait, did we decide I could even get the car over there? I think we decided I can't get the car over there, right? Now I don't remember. We could drive the car to Cosmo Canyon, but I think that was as far over as we could get the car. It's an old and convoluted game, right? Well, there's a thing. Can we get through here? Oh, maybe there is hope after all. <laughs> Please, let us make it. Oh my goodness. I know, I have a sliver of hope. Come on, come on, is that it? Is that it? Oh dear lord. Octorok saved the day, thank you, I needed that. Okay. One of your favorite games, but yeah, there's some yikes parts. Okay, I think, ooh. I'm not sure I would say well done, but at least we were making it somewhere. I think what we'll do, because I am, I've been streaming for a, a wee bit now, I think we'll pick up here uh, next time and go to the gold saucer and hopefully get this dang keystone so we can get all of this figured out. So, huh, we did some things. Thank you, Octorok, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Let's pull up our garden here and let's see who, oh, why does the garden moved up? Let's pull it back down, boop. Oh, let's see who is on that we can go and say hello to. Who should we raid? Who should we raid today? Um, let's see. Does anybody have a suggestion? Anybody new to say hello to? I think if nobody has a suggestion, we'll go and say hello to Neiman's Attic again. So I'm going to send you that way in just a second here. Let me get that set up. Okay, 
So we've got the raid. The raid is firing up here. So let's do some thank yous real quick. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for hanging out in chat or lurking. It was fun hanging out even though we were uh, sadly lost for most of the stream, but I hope you still had a good time. Uh, thank you to Shot for the resub. I appreciate you. And we'll be back again next week with some more shenanigans. Hopefully we'll figure out a little bit more of the story and we'll make it to the Temple of the Ancients. Hey, Kababobaba. Such a fun username. Thank you so much for becoming a friend. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, I hope you guys all have a good day. We're almost to the weekend. We're getting closer. Closer, closer. So yeah, let's go raid and I will catch you later. Bye everybody.